and we're back. Huh, actually we're outside the town. Not far, but... How did that long even get down to there? Beacon town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? That's just going to entice people. I'm certainly not saying top secret. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do no we do about all this? what heck mouth is. Well, it's all made of prismarine. Right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about Prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... that was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. I knew you'd be excited. Yes! And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first... I really need to deal with this llama. Freedom right. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, <laughs> I... I... Kinda got tricked. By this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. Miss <laughs> Butter, what a name. Now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petra, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. Oh, so, that's not fair. Yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. We we just let Tell a city sword. be built like five feet away. I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. We should recruit some new members. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. Wow, this place is nice. Time to put the beacon this down to shame. It. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. Aww. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Yay, the llama's coming. I want to keep the llama. Wow, 
Even the flowers are organized. Yeah. And see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Oh, Everyone that's in horrible. town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. What exactly did she give in return for the sword? I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Well, she doesn't know how to build. She must have an architect. Oh, that was where the door just... Anyway, here we go. Hmm, what a peculiar place. There's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> you bitch. You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would plead to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, I thought you said three puppies. Oh, I know, it's just puppies for Wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I think this one is more for you, don't you think? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Punch this one in the boot. No, not really. Oh, you. Wow, she was really horrible. Oh, Luna, my darling, you came home. You came back. Oh my uh, Rodrigo, God, could you, could you yell bring Luna home? Face. Oh. Oh my gosh. There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met or heard of you before today. Oh, our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll yes, play along. that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. <laughs> what, why would you hold it All like that? Range, what course. if you drop it? That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Put the puppy down! Too bad. They're very cute puppies. Oh, it looks very sad. Oh my and, gosh! You know, I heard you need new pads, so... Oh, you bitch. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. How is an emerald That's... worth more than a oh. diamond? Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. Mm. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. I'm well, not going to make a scene out of this I think it's now, about but... time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. You've not even seen mine. Well, actually, maybe she has. Do you two know the way out? Of what am I saying? Of course Petra does. 
If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. You suck. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. How hey, dare she treat I'll a puppy that way? i for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Burn her town down? Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. They're pretty big. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Mm -hmm. Oh, we get to choose. Sneak in. Yeah, let's sneak in. Might even get to the puppies I loose. think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Or I'm guessing this choice is significantly altered. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, you will suffer. So cute. Oh no. What what's happened? How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got some bones. I've got it covered. Ooh, let's tame one. Let's tame one and bring it with us. Hello. Easy puppies. See? You like bones, right? There you go. Come on, keep moving. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Off you go. Don't hurt each other. Oh, please don't hurt each other. I like dogs. I mean, I know they're clean still. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. It's shit. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. It's crap! Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure. Even if you got it from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. I should have uh. finished the race. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how Ooh. it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It's embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? Totally knew you're we were gonna sneak sure in. Sure it was here. Ha! <laughs> Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. <laughs> How can she not see us? This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on... Oh, hi! Hello! Oh, if only uh, there were a recording device. You should not be here. That would be so funny. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Yep. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. 
Uh, no. No, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I'll take it. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. I don't That's understand right, the why. day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. <laughs> I actually feel a little bad for her. In her own way, she just wants to be special.